Hello, this video tutorial is about descriptive, inferential, and correlation statistics. In statistics, descriptive and inferential are the two sort of big branches of statistics, and then correlation statistics are a subset of um, inferential statistics. So if I were going to represent it by a Venn diagram, inferential statistics might be here, and then correlation statistics are sort of a subset of that. So let's start by talking about descriptive statistics. Let's say, for example, that all of the beads in this bowl represent all National Merit Award winners for 2012. If I were if I were going to get the descriptive statistics on this group, I would be getting statistics that describe the group in a clear, concise way that provides sort of a summary or an overview of this group. And it's going to focus on two things. One is kind of the center or the central tendency of this group. And then the other is going to focus on the dispersion or the spread of this group. So those are the two main things that descriptive statistics focus on, central tendency or dispersion. So in our group here, we might be looking at their GPA or their IQ or the number of books they read. And let's just say we want to focus on GPA. We'll look at the central tendency or say the mean or average of this group's GPA. But then we might also look at the dispersion or the range of GPAs by this group here. But this group is the full population of National Merit awardees. Now, that's very different than inferential statistics. In inferential statistics, we're looking at a, we're taking an entire population. Let's say that this represents all students in the United States. And we're going to dump in the National Merit awardees. And mix it up really, really well here. And then we're going to take a sample, random sample or subgroup, of the whole population. And then we're going to study this sample. And based on our study of this sample, we'll be able to make predictions or inferences about the entire population. So inferential statistics is about taking a sample and studying it in order to make inferences or estimates or, um, or predictions about an entire group. So in other, in other words, you're trying to generalize from a sample to an entire population. And in order to do that, there are various statistical procedures for doing that, but those all involve pretty much also looking at the descriptive statistics. So even though descriptive statistics are, there's a different, um, it's a different class of statistics, you'll use descriptive statistics when you're conducting inferential procedures.